Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I get my nighttime face uh, makeup, how I get my face to look at night. And uh, it's going to have everything from foundation to highlighting to blush. So everything you want to know on how I get my face to look at night is going to be all in this video. I already did my daytime face look um, that I use in the summer. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, but if you want to see how I get my nighttime face look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my first step is to take um, a mattifier. Um, I use a mattifier during the day and at night just because I do tend to get really oily around my nose area the most. And this is just a sample I'm trying out to see if I want to buy it. And this is the Murad Oil Mattifier with an SPF of 15. So what I do is I just take that product and put it around my nose area. So I just dot it on and then we just blend it. The primer that I really like to use at night is the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. This is an awesome primer and it's at the drugstore so it's cheap. And it does a really good job at getting your skin all one color because it is kind of uh, tinted as you can see. So I kind of just take this and put it all over and then blend it out. So once my primer is in, I do want to have a little bit extra glow around my cheekbones, um, especially at night since you might be taking pictures. Or so I use MAC Strobe Cream and this is just a cream that has a really nice like iridescence to it. And I just take a little, little, little bit of it like that much and dab it on my cheekbones and then I just kind of rub it in and it just gives that extra nice pretty sheen to your cheeks okay I did used to love to use the Revlon Color Stay for at night it was my favorite foundation to wear at night it was a really nice and thick in a good way foundation for nighttime it covered everything flawlessly and I still really do like this foundation um, but since it's getting hotter out, um, especially now in the summer, I want something a little bit lighter that's going to cover. And that foundation for me right now is the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. And I feel like it uh, photographs really well. It does have the sparkles in it, but I really don't feel like it's that big of a deal. So I take like about two pumps of the foundation onto the back of my hand. Actually, we're going to start with one because um, I don't want to waste product. And I use my Sonia Kashuk flat top brush, which I've been loving to apply my foundation. And I just get kind of get some of that on the brush. And I start on my cheeks. So I just kind of turn it, do like really nice buffing motions. This foundation is a little dark because I uh, purchased it for the summer. So um, it will be a lot nicer when I have a tan <laughs> or will match my skin a lot nicer but it just does a really nice job at giving you a really flawless look and I feel like this brush really helps out a lot too so I'm basically just kind of buffing it into my skin okay so one full pump was enough to cover my whole face so now I'm gonna move on to concealer and my concealer that I'm using now is the MAC uh, Select Moisture Cover Foundation I mean concealer and I use NW20 so what I do is I take the applicator and I apply like four little dots underneath my eyes one two three four and I just apply it there. I usually do my face makeup first, so it's a little odd for me to have my eyes already done. But I basically just take the product and apply it right underneath my eyes. And I do like tapping motions, not really rubbing motions, um, because since it is under your eyes, it's a really gentle area. And especially at night, I like to kind of put a little bit more than I would during the day because I like to have that brightening effect. And this concealer does a really good job at giving me that effect. Once I have my concealer on, I take a powder to set everything. And I'm using NARS's Loose Powder in Beach. And it just comes in a sifter type thing like this. And I take um, a Kabuku brush. This is just a cheap one that I bought at Ulta a really long time ago. I think it's made by that brand Sugar. But any um, Kabuku brush will work. So I just swirl my brush in the product and kind of just buff it into my skin. Make sure to get it under your eyes gently. 
Now after I apply my powder, I like to apply my bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using is NARS Irresistible Mont, I think it's called. Um, I've hit pan on it a long time ago. Um, and I use my um, NARS bronzing brush, and this is the number 19 brush. And I'm basically just, I just dip my brush into the product, because if I swirl it in, um, it's way too pigmented, and it's a little bit too orangey for my skin tone. I do prefer Laguna. So I just apply it to the temples of my head like this. I like to keep the center not really that um, bronzed because it could tend to make your forehead look kind of, I don't know, weird and muddy. So I just apply it to the temples. Then I take some more and apply it to kind of, I don't really contour, I just kind of apply it to like my cheek area. So, I guess I contour a little, but nothing too perfected. Now that I have my 209 brush, I might um, start to contour a lot more. I also like to apply some of NARS's Multiple in Copacabana, and that's what it looks like. It's a really pretty um, champagne-y color, and I just get it on my finger, and then I just take my finger and dab it on my cheekbones. my highlight, I use Porcelain Pink MSF by MAC. It just gives a really nice um, glow, but yeah, it's pink, so it adds in with my blush. Um, I use my NARS number no. six um, brush, and it's just a, like a like a blush brush, and I apply it onto the tip, tap off the excess, and apply it right onto the cheekbones where I applied the other stuff. Use a coral because I like I told you I'm loving corals for the summer and this is Coralista by Benefit. I just take the side of my blush brush by NARS and dip it into the product and then I smile and I apply it right to the sides here and it kind of connects with the highlight and Coralista itself is shimmery so it even gives you even a nicer glow to your skin. So this is the finished look. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on any of the products I use or anything that I mentioned in this video, don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye, guys.